That llama thing, I so badly want to murder it, but it's so cute. Look at this thing. They'd be like, Ugh. and they're like emotionless and evil. I so badly want to murder it. Emotionless and evil creatures. No, just kidding. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another chicken episode. Now, the last time we played, we actually built Phil here. Phil is this weird dragon look dragon looking one here. He he does not obey our orders at all. And he keeps hitting me and it keeps hurting. So what we're going to do this episode is we're going to deconstruct Phil, turn him into something a little better. We got uh, I got an idea in my head of what I want to do with Phil. Henry here is good. Henry's a good guy. Henry's the Henry's the good pet. And then we have this plant. Yeah, that that's the plant. I don't have a name for the plant yet. He's just a plant. He protects the base when we're not home. <laughs> And what I want to do this episode is I want to kind of build a better wall around our base. So we're going to have to get a lot of stone. The reason I want a better wall is because putting putting our um, creatures inside this little pen here seems a little cruel. No, no, that's not the reason why. But <laughs> the reason why is because it's actually really difficult to get them inside that little pen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go collect some stone and stuff. But, but before we do that, we're going we're gonna to reconstruct Phil here. This guy here, he looks a little, he looks a little funny. <laughs> uh, not, he's doing it again. He's sticking his head in the ground. That's one of the reasons why I want to build him. I'm pretty much just going to build Phil like I had him last time. But I'm going to try to make his neck a little shorter. Well, necks, I guess. Because he, I don't know how it really works, but I guess his heart block is, I guess, the center of him. So if we build his head near the center, or his chest, like the front of his chest, He'll be a little more, I guess, eased. He wouldn't, he won't try to really kill us. <laughs> all right, well, we'll try that theory. I don't know if it's correct at all. So I think if we put his body piece right here, and this will be the start of his neck, that might help with the problem of him attacking us. I'm not quite sure. But how are we gonna build two different necks? I guess like this, that might look good. And then we're gonna add the mouth pieces. We're not gonna add heads because they don't have enough uh, head parts. One right there. Oh, this isn't gonna work, is it? And one right there. Oh, that looks pretty cool, actually. Now, I don't know if that's gonna help with him attacking us or not, but that looks pretty sweet. There we go. So the dragon legs seem to be better. We're gonna put them on him like this. And then we're gonna add some aesthetics to him. Like wings and also um, maybe maybe eyes because you kind of need that. But for the back piece here, I got these tar tarantula pieces like this. Now this might look a little weird, but I think it might work. There we go. That looks pretty sweet. Um, I don't think the wings do anything other than stats, but um, he has like a little stubby stubby back end there. We need to give him a tail or something. Um, and we got to give them eyes. So I have these wolf eyes as well. I'm not sure how they're gonna look But they could work. Yeah, that works. They like have their own little personalities. Okay, that's pretty cool So that's Phil and that's Phil. They're both Phil. He's Phil. They're Phil. Whatever. They're Phil <laughs> So I did have some of these mech tails, but I don't know where they went. So all I got really is this weird looking stubby turtle tail What? No. No, we're not putting that on there. That looks a little weird. <laughs> um, that does not match the color of the um, animal. You would think it might have been something else. So I guess we got to deal with these giraffe tails for now. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. I have no clue. But there we go. That is Phil. And hopefully he's better. Let's just hope. Okay, he has a weird tail. I don't know what's with that tail. And he kind of like hobbles. Here we go. Hi, Phil. You're kind of creepy now. Yeah, look at that. He keeps his distance. That's good. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna kind of eat, and we're gonna collect some stone to build our base wall. That should be good. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Are you hungry? No, I'm hungry. Oh, I just found iron ore too. So we got these iron ore chunks. They look like little black pieces of rock. Now we can make some better tools. Even though I don't think we really need them. I just use my um, creatures for mining and such, which is understandable. Pet tag. We can get pet tags? Really? That's sweet. So we'll probably label our pets. But stone walls are nine stones as well. 
But from what I read, the best way to actually get stone, if Phil is following me, come on, let's go, is to attack these ruins over here, which are pretty easy to find. It should net us quite a bit of stones. Stones. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, this might be limestone. No, it's stones. We're good. Oh my god. That llama thing, I so badly want to murder it, but it's so cute. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my um my grandparents actually had a alpaca farm and they'd sound like that too. They'd be like, ooh. And they're like emotionless and evil. Emotionless and evil creatures. No, just kidding. They're pretty cool. I'm kind of being judgmental to alpacas. I was, I was traumatized, okay? But no, I wasn't. Destroy that, Phil. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting quite a bit of stones. This is awesome. We can probably do this really easily and build our new base defenses. Because there's no way the little um, wood fence is going to protect our creatures much longer. We need a, like a barrier of those plants. Those plant creatures. <laughs> I'm not sure how this game works still guys. It still traumatizes me. Um, I have nightmares of it when I sleep. No, I'm kidding. But anyways, what is that? One of those ostrich. Ostrich. One of those, um, one of those giraffe dogs. Yeah, that's what they're called. Ah, uh, really, Phil? You're just running over there. Is his head stuck under the ground again, or is he sleeping? Is he sleeping? His head is stuck under the ground. I don't know why they do that. It's kind of weird. Maybe that is his method of sleeping. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna give Phil his dragon tail because uh, those little those little um giraffe tails don't really work. All right. I like how they added these little indicators though with the highlighting. It's really, really helpful now. Look at that little tail. <laughs> that works, I guess. Phil, I don't like when you do that. Let's go. Maybe their necks are upside down. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of just wanna, wanna put them away for a while. No, don't, don't attack that fence. Now we're gonna block this up like this. And we're gonna get started on the construction of our new walls. Hopefully it looks pretty good. I'm not sure. We're gonna go over here. We need stone. I don't want to build a bunch of stone gates. Stone walls. How many can we make? Seven. All right. All right, so we're gonna put our wall like, I don't know, somewhere over here. All around, kind of, I guess. We just need something to defend our base from invading creatures. I'm not sure how it's really gonna work. There we go. Now we need more wood. We're gonna take um, whichever one's closest. Henry is outside the wall somehow. So we're gonna take him. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Stop fighting, guys. Stop it. Stop. No. This is one thing I don't like about this game is <laughs> how the creatures react to each other at times. Your tamed ones, which is kind of bad because now they want to fight and that's not what I wanted oh no they're gonna die stop it stop all right guys well Phil seems to be glitched so we can't save him sorry Phil we gotta we gotta we gotta put you out of your misery for now will we we will rebuild you eventually but for now you are a big nuisance there we go I think we have enough wood to finish the base so the game kind of glitched and it made the walls up here kind of float. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. It's a little glitchy. So yeah, it kind of it kind of glitched my um, fence over here and also part of my house. I don't know why. I don't know why. I never meant to throw that. <laughs> We're gonna have to remove my plant guy here. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I never meant to do that. I meant to add a piece to you. And then remove you because we got to place you in a different spot. We're gonna put them over here in front of the base. Like right here. Right here looks good. We're gonna rebuild him. Actually, this might be a little too far over. Oh well, it could work. There we go. There's our plant. 
He looks a little more terrifying than before. We're gonna we're gonna pet him to make him happy. And it should be pretty good. We gotta feed him too. And I don't think I have much food on me. I get apples. Apples work. Here you go, buddy. Eat the apples. Alright, there we go. Our base is fully covered with walls. Not very strong ones, but it works. So we gotta remove these walls here. It's gonna take a bit. I got an axe for that. Alright, so there we go. We have our base fortified. It is night. And we're gonna get him to stop attacking our house there. It looks pretty nice actually. Look at that. Awesome. Now, hopefully that glitch stuff fixes itself because that's a little annoying. <laughs> Actually, I wonder if this will break the game if we load it back up like this. Let's test it out. <laughs> if the game's broken, you guys will know because there will be no videos for a long time. <laughs> I don't. I doubt it would be broken though. But it works. Look at that. Very nice. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much it for this episode. It was pretty short. I'm not sure what we can really do in this series much more. But I, um, I'm looking for your suggestions on what we can really do. I know there's bosses in the game, but some of them are glitched, like the Hydra or the Three-Headed Dragon. Whatever it's called, I don't know. It's kind of glitched, which kind of sucks, and we can't really defeat it. But we have like a little base here. Um, pretty nice, easily defended. We don't really get attacked by much, other than those, um, those mecha T-Rexes. <laughs> But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember, stay sweet. Bye! Oh, it's breathing fire. Well, here we go. The Hydra or the dragon is in this cave right there. I don't think we... I don't, oh, it got so dark. I don't know if we're going to be able to defeat him. But here we go. Fight it. <laughs>